Since Hamas attacked Israel on October the 7th, Hezbollah has fired more than 9,000 rockets at Israeli communities, and no city has been targeted more than this one, Israel's northernmost city of Kiryat Shmona. Every day booms here in Kiryat Shmona, every day. This business owner is one of the only still operating in the city. For 40 years, he's made picture frames and now delivers them to customers because they're too afraid to go outside. Last week, it was terrible here. Many booms. He says the bombing in recent days is the most intense he's ever seen, and he's happy to see it. I think it will be better one year from today. The city of Kiryat Shmona sits less than two kilometers away from the border with Lebanon. That's it, just over the ridge here behind me. The city has long sat in the shadow of the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. This is it. Uh... The first people come from Kiryat Shmona. The mayor showed us images from the city's first days, including its first rocket attack and first shelter. 50 years ago, they endured what's come to be known as the Kiryat Shmona Massacre, explored in this recent documentary. Lebanese gunmen crossed the border and murdered 18 Israeli civilians, including the mayor's grandmother and three of his aunts. Despite decades of attacks, the mayor says his city always endured. It had never before been evacuated until after October 7th. Nearly all of the city's 24,000 residents have left. This family has spent the year living in a hotel to the south, waiting until it's safe to return. I miss my bed, I miss my home, this eight-year-old says. Only around 2,000 residents remain in Kiryat Shmona, most essential workers. Streets, businesses and homes left deserted. We hopped aboard a completely empty city bus. The driver says there are never any passengers anymore. Empty bus every day? Yes. The region was even home to Israel's only ice rink, called Canada Centre, which Global News visited back in 2009. It's now closed and too dangerous to access by road. For the past year, the Israeli government hasn't cared about us. They've only cared about fighting Hamas in Gaza, he says. Finally, they are going on offense. Indeed, Israel's attention has now shifted dramatically to Hezbollah in Lebanon. The Israeli Prime Minister says they won't stop fighting until tens of thousands of Israelis forced to flee their homes in the north are finally able to safely return home. Jeff Semple, Global News, Kiryat Shmona.